from the command center JW Solar USA. Today's video I'm going to show you how to wire 6 volt batteries in series to parallel so that you can increase the voltage and increase the amperage. So today this is the video I'm going to show you. You see these are the batteries. I have 8 batteries here. I want to show you what to do and uh, let me take you back to the command center and show you it has been a while so I have to do maintenance and this is the reason there was serious parallel for you to be able to get your batteries all balanced properly this is how you want it I'm gonna bring it to the command center well folks this is the command center right here it's already disabled and you guys can see all the uh, goodies here and um, I'm gonna take you to the battery bank and sure it's for just a simple steps probably you guys already know but this is just for people that don't even know how to do it and um, they can able to able to have a, a, a proper understanding about 6 volts instead of a 12 volt battery in a 12 volt battery you just have to wire two batteries in series to give you a 24 volt three batteries in 36 volt and four batteries in 48 volt so I hope this video is going to be a, su a successful one because sometimes uh, issues with the network si system thus I don't do live streaming that much anymore. Let's get back to the batteries so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. These are the batteries right here. So I have 8 AGM batteries that's going to be wired into series and parallel. So one battery is a 6 volt. 225 amp hour each and a um, wide series to parallel for 24 volt configuration so here let's get back to the batteries so that you can see exactly what I'm doing here live here at JW Solar USA so all right folks um, so we come in here first what we're gonna do to test the batteries to show you the voltage of each batteries because it's proper it's nice to properly balance your batteries so if you can able to see on the camera the voltage and each battery is supposed to be reading a six point something volt so let's go back here and get the battery and set it up that battery is reading a 6.45 volt. It's reading a 6.45 volt. Six point three six six point four five volt. Six point four four volt. We have a one a point one volt difference there. Six point four five volt. Six point four five volt. Six point four five volt. Six point four five. So it's only one battery here that reads a six point four four volt. So it's not bad. The batteries are well balanced. So it's just a point zero one millivolt difference from this one here. So let's get back to the topic here. I have my wrench right here, which I want you guys to see. And uh, I have the uh, battery leads connectors right here. These are two hot cable. If you can read the number right there, you can see it. It's a two hot cable. All right. I don't know if you can see it properly. Yeah, two hot cable. I'm using for my application. So, folks. You get batteries from positive here to negative. That will give you 
these are six uh, volts each that will give you a 12 volt battery a big 12 volt battery since these batteries each of them is going to be um 225 volts each sorry 2.225 amps each so 225 amps each so why some people will ask why not 450 amp hours on both batteries because these batteries are not 12 volts they are 6 volts each if it was 6 volt uh, sorry if it was 12 volt you have them parallel positive to positive negative to negative then you can have 450 amp hours but since they are 6 volt batteries you have to series them to have a, a 12 volt battery which I'm going to do right here. I'm going to demonstrate and put the batteries right here. This one connected positive to a negative right here. Then I'm going to give you the readings after that. So you see right here. So that makes it a 12 volt battery. These two are 12 volts at 225 amp hours. Let's prove it folks and see if I'm right. Yes. So I'm going to be holding this thing down a little bit to get contact there with one hand so see that hold on oh it comes out from here from this side so you see that 12.9 volt so it's a full charge battery that's a 12 volt right now six and six that makes it no more six volt is a 12 volt battery so we're gonna do the same thing on the other battery here which um, the same is a just what I whatever I did earlier I'm gonna do back the same thing here so if I decide to do it this way, it's going to give you another 12 volt battery right here. Okay. This is just a, 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 a demonstration. A lot of people do, a lot of people have problems when it comes to DC. So let's take this one back and put it right here. A negative to positive. It's really a 12.9 one volt. These batteries are all charged. So we have two banks of 12 volt batteries right here. Okay? Two 12 volt batteries. So if we decided to go a 24 volt, we have to put these four batteries positive to negative. Okay? A negative to a positive. Okay? Then we're going to end up with two or a negative here. And a positive here you series it in parallel positive to positive to increase the amperage okay that's what I want to show you guys it's not a long video but this is just a simple video I want you guys to see if um, some people having problems with it so if I decided to go a positive to negative a negative to positive positive to negative, then you can series this one old bank. And then we use, if you want to parallel that, you're going to parallel this to get something better the way you want, or do that one the same way. To, to, uh, this is going to be a 24 volt, 24 volt here. Increase the voltage and take the positives from each end, positive, negative from other side, other side positive, negative from other side, and go to a boss bars wherever you have a boss bar so some people don't have a boss bar they end up taking the positive to positive the negative to negative and they take one side here and the other side from the other side you have to be directional not be you no know, the same direction and this is how you wire the 24 volts 6 volt batteries into um, 24 or 12 volt or 48 all right so 24 volts here 24 volt over there that gives you exactly uh, what you need here. So if you want to go 6, 12, 24, 36, 48. So I can use these eight batteries because they are 6 volt for 48 volt battery bank 
at 225 amp hours. If that was a 12 volt battery, each battery would have been 12 volt. Then this is going to be 12, 24, 36, 48, 12, 24, 36, 48. So 48 volt right here, 48 volt right there. You series, you already series it. Then you're going to, let's just assume this is a 48 volt battery. Don't, don't look at the, the terminals the way they are right now. So you have to go is a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Then let's say we're going to take the negative right there, the positive right there. So you have a 48 volt. Just theoretically, this is how I'm going to say it. But if you want to do this battery as a 12 or 6 volt battery, just if you have a 6 volt um, inverter, which I've never seen before. Or let's take this example. This is going to be a 12 volt and a 12 volt battery. All we have to do, positive to positive to positive to positive, negative to negative to negative to negative. If this once were 12 volts battery, I hope you guys understand you're not mistaking me. These are 6 volt. If they were 12 volt, you can do a 12 volt here, a one string, a one string. So all positive like this, positive to positive, and negative to negative, negative to negative. You have a, po a positive here and a negative over there, and a positive here and a negative over there, or either or. Then you have one big 12 volt battery, if this ones were 12 volt batteries. But I'm doing a demonstration on a 6 volt batteries. I don't just have all the time to do all the wires and try to put everything together. But this is how the configuration uh, should be for 12, 24, 36, 48 volt. But this was a 6 volt batteries. So you have the this and this is a 12 volt battery. This and this, 12 volt battery. This and this, this and that. So four batteries here is a 24 volt. Series, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. 12 volt, uh, sorry, 24 volt, 24 volt here. So I have two bank, um, uh, uh, two strings of fours, two strings of four batteries. So I have one, two at 12 volt, tw sorry, 24 volt. So that gives us 225 amp hours, 225 amp hours. You put it in a boss bar, put it over there, the voltage is already up on both banks and tie them into your boss bars. Then you have 225 amp hours, 225 hours. That's going to give you 450 amp hours on current. It goes up and the voltage is up. The amperage is up. That's why you series the increase the voltage and you parallel them to increase the amperage. I hope this video makes sense for you guys. Probably I don't even use all the proper wiring for you guys to understand it. But I, I tried to demonstrate a 6 volt battery bank at, uh, um, to a 12 volt. Then I demonstrated the 24 volt. Then I, I, I just illustrated that if mimic, if this were a, a 12 volt battery each, that would have been a 48 volt bank here, 48 volt bank here. So it's uh, four, uh, four um, string, um, four, uh, uh, four. <laughs> Two strings of fours in 48 volts if these were 12 volt batteries, but they are not 12 volt, they are 6 volts. I just want to do a quick demonstration for you guys to understand how everything works here. I know it's going to be difficult for a lot of you guys, uh, newbies, or some people already being sold, but it's confusing, especially when it comes to 6 volt batteries. As soon as I start having them, a massive of them, you get confused, and that comes the problem. You know, that people normally started hurting themselves, you know, they're taking after seeing all this, they started seeing all this stuff here, this terminal, terminal like fuzzy, because your eyes are getting tired and trying to determine what you have to do next or whatever. When you do a mistake, you ground yourself, you take, <laughs> like the way they are right now, you, you arc yourself from this point to this point, you're going to be a spark right away. So you don't want that to happen. So this is all I can say and this is how I can round up my my um, tutorial video today for some of you guys who don't even understand how it is. But I'm going to take this one back off because this battery is going to be um, in service soon. And uh, I will show you the, um, the specs of this battery. You guys already seen them before. But um, 
I don't mind showing you guys again one more time. Yeah, because um, this is why I'm here for you guys to learn and you see what I was talking about. These are the NPP valve regulated lead acid batteries, the NP6 225 amp hour, 6 volt, 225 amp hours. All right, from the command center, JW Solar USA, I'm bringing you to the control room and I'm just showing you because when you do series parallel and use a bus bars, not like just putting in uh, negative to negative, positive, positive, to you, for you to increase the, 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 the amperage, you have to put them on the bus bars. I recommend, folks, I recommend uh, bus bars because you're going to have your batteries properly charged and balanced. And you guys seen it, but my batteries are all balanced. It's only one battery, the last one, that had a little bit of um, a discrepancy there with a, a 0 0.1 millivolt differential compared to the other ones. And with the help of this guy here, which I'll recommend, the battery extra, some people believe on them, some people don't. So this battery extra is an awesome, awesome machine. And you guys can see how the batteries were all balanced. They're all balanced. They are not out of balance at all. But this is all part of it, balance and unbalanced batteries. They are not good because you're straining the other batteries. The other batteries don't get no proper charge. I'm not worried about the, the one millivolt battery that was off there because it's, it's gonna be okay. It's hard sometimes to get the batteries all zero out. Like the same, same, same. But I'm telling you, you guys already seen those batteries before. I used them and before, and you guys have seen how the batteries are all charge and balance together. I decided to dismantle the battery bank so that I can show you guys uh, how things are on some of the batteries right there. I have some other batteries laying around somewhere, which I do, I do include on the video. And these are the ones I just hook up for my. 12 volt, uh, 24 volt system live from Minnesota JW Solar USA please subscribe like and share to the video share this video with your friends and family online on uh, social media and show your friends or use this as a reference on your um, application if you want to look at it so you can look at it and do whatever determine what is best for you all systems are not wired the same because each system, everybody's system is different from the other. So that's why you don't have to take my system as a very, very good or exact, uh, 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 um, um, maybe a copy of my system to your system because what I have here is different from what you have. But you can able to relate some of these uh, um, um, uh, um, knowledge or whatever explanation I already put it and put it to a perspective for your own use. Because this is why, this is how I set up my system, which uh, works for me. And maybe your system is different from mine. Your appliances are different from mine. But these are my appliances, and which I want to show you guys how my system runs. And this is a 24, this is a 48 volt Outback FX 3048. See that right there? And I have a magnet sign here which is uh, the MS right here. Let me show you the, um, I hope I can get it right there. You can see it, the MS 4024. And I have a Midnight Classic 200 and an Outback Flex Max 60. And I have a Midnight uh, sorry, an Outback hub. Then right here, I have an Outback Mate 2. Right here, I have the uh, Magnum, the M-E-R-E -E remote for the Magnusign. This is where it's wired in here into this box where the, um, the Magnum battery monitor is in there. To monitor the system so if I'm running just the 24 volt magnum right here and I can monitor it through here because I have a shunt 
built in inside that control box that is monitoring everything and the odd back I can able to run it with my odd back here which I have the uh, the uh, the midnight or I can run it with the midnight classic with the midnight classic and able to give me um, the exact uh, um, readings the, uh, the state of charge and all the good stuff while this one can able to do the same thing for me as well if I incorporate this one with um, the, 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 the Outback and the Midnight Classic with the MagnaSign, they just work perfectly, okay? For 48 volt and 24 volt configuration. So this is how I'm gonna have, oh, okay, sorry, one more thing. I have a Midnight Arrestor right here, Lightning Arrestor uh, installed. And all my wires are in a gutters, a trunk, whatever you call them. And I have a temperature sensor here for the box. This is just for the box. So I have a lot of temperature sensors here, which um, you can able to uh, see. I think I have one, two, three. I think I have a four. This one has a temperature sensor for it if I want to charge back from the grid. This one have a temperature sensor here if I want to charge back from the grid. And I have a temperature sensor for the Magnum. For, for sorry for the uh, midnight I have a temperature sensor for the outback so approximately I have four temperature sensors in my battery box plus this temperature sensor here just to read the ambience inside the battery box to get the exact um, temperature of the batteries, just the, um, um, the, the, the ambient inside the box. All temperature sensors are attached to the batteries. You know the MagnoSign has a temperature sensor that attached right there. So my negative bus bar. So folks, this is, this is my system and this is how I set up my system. I hope you like, subscribe, like, and share. Give your thumbs up if you like this video. I hope um, this video helped you guys to understand how my system runs and here is my breaker box my distribution box where the power comes in where I can able to utilize the power for my for my home to to from the charge controllers to that box I have some breakers in there and send the power back to my house instead of breaking it Go I have to go all the way to the breaker box and shut off something. I can just turn here for if I'm here working on this stuff, I can just shut it off from here. I hope you get this video all. Um, sorry for the video being long, but um, I hope this one makes very uh, good sense to you guys. I give you a last shot on the batteries here. And before I'm going to leave you from Minnesota, this is JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Give a thumbs up to this video. Like it and share it. Bye for now.